morning and it is a good morning because Hokan is back and we are back on the streets of Tirana exploring the city today. And we just made our way into Blocko, the hip area of the town. But it used to be an area that solely belonged to the Communist Party. So ordinary people didn't have access to this area during the Communist regime. So we're going to spend the first part of the day to locate the Communist monuments uh, that are still left in this town. And the reason why we do that is not because we are fans of communism. Believe me, we are not. But the architecture is pretty cool and it's such a big part of the modern history in this country. So it feels important to visit these places to remember. Our first stop is the house of the former dictator Enver Hoxha. It's kind of a modest house for being a dictator if you compare it to other communist dictators like Ceausescu. The Blocko Memorial is a piece made by two artists. So there's a piece of the Berlin Wall, there's a bunker and there's some sort of installation. the most iconic monument in the city, the pyramid. Unfortunately, it's undergoing renovation right now, so we can't climb it. up to boost our caffeine levels. Since I was sick yesterday I haven't had any coffee it must be 36 hours. This is gonna be really really good. Oh. We read about a courtyard where they've hidden all the statues from the communist era so once that era was gone they didn't destroy the statues they just removed them. And I think we have found them. To the right is Joseph Stalin. And the guy here without his arm is Lenin. And then I guess we have Stalin one more time to the left. But the white, I'm not sure who that is. From a distance he is, he kind of looks like Mao, but I'm not sure. I think it is Mao. When I read about this online, I, I thought it was pretty cool. I expected more, to be honest. Look at this pretty, happy, bright house and the sad, sad tree next to it. We are on our way to the uh, Bank Art 2. It's a memorial museum for all the victims of communist terror. And the entrance is just right down here. Visitors have made their best efforts to scratch his face off, so it's still something that apparently is affecting people. What impressed me the most is the sheer sight of the bunker 
that house system you see here is huge. It's huge and it has a lot of information and I just feel so sick after being at these kind of museums. It's very, very necessary to visit them, I think, because we need to remember history because history has been so awful and we need to remember it. Still it hurts. So the entrance is in that bunker over there and then there's corridors in this area here and then you exit here. Easy peasy lunch. I have to say food here is surprisingly expensive. This is the result. This is our lunch. It's penne, creamy, mushy, pasta dish. This elevator is really scary. It feels like we have a 50-50 risk of a malfunction. Oh, made it again. After our first home cooked meal in a long time, we're just strolling around the area of Loco. One of the best ways to explore a new city is just by walking. Quite busy traffic here in Tirana. Still very green, making you feeling calm. So one thing I really noticed when walking around the streets here is that the city is pretty worn down. And at the same time, they are building a lot of new buildings, especially in the center of the city. So it feels like this city is in the middle of a change. One thing that we have in common to Sweden and Albania is that we drink a lot of coffee. Here in Albania, at least at this very place, you will be served caramele sana. It's a candy from the communist era. Let's go inside and try it out. It was really good coffee at a really cool place. Unfortunately, their caramele sana, they were out of it. We've been out for seven hours and I think that's all I can handle today. I'm not feeling 100% yet, so it's going to be an early evening for us. So we'll pick it up where we left off today tomorrow again. See you then.